Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do the February 19th Spiritual Principle of Day in a meditation. Hope you're doing well this morning. I'm recording off of my telephone's hotspot. I'm not sure what happened to the internet during the night. However, let's go ahead and get into it. The title of the meditation is Being Flexible Through Life's Challenges. Just when we think we know all that recovery has to offer, more is revealed if we are willing to accept the gift. That's from the Living Clean Book, Chapter 7, Awakenings. Recovery allows us to take life by the reins. With a clear head and a clean conscience, we're able to deal with situations that would have mystified us in our previous lives. With time and effort spent on our recovery, we find the balance, often repeatedly, between confidence and humility, patience and action, faith and persistence. Flexibility sits at the intersection of all these principles, allowing us to adapt and be resilient as recovery reveals its gifts. When life takes on, takes an unexpected turn, sometimes there's magic in what we discover. Other times, disappointment. In either case, practicing flexibility helps us to go with the flow. We keep breathing regardless of the circumstances. A difficult living situation, an unhappy marriage, or a dead-end job may call on us to make decisions and take action. Our problems don't solve themselves just because we're clean. The work we put into our recovery helps us to understand our part in every situation. With that, we figure out what we can accept, what we should change, and when it's time to walk away. We take the reins of our lives, but we leave enough slack for the right pace and direction to reveal itself. With faith, faith and flexibility, excuse me, with faith and flexibility as our guidepost, new challenges seem more like serendipity and less like a curse. I grew up hearing, we plan, God laughs. One member shared, when something gets in the way of my plans, I take it as divine intervention prompting me to explore other options. We often emerge from our most painful times with gifts we could not have imagined. Recovery helps us let go of some of our fixed ideals and look for the horse when all we see is manure. I can learn new things and discover unique gifts at any phase of life and recovery. I will loosen the reins today and be flexible enough to accept the grace that comes my way. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today, please, and thank you. So we're talking about flexibility as being a spiritual principle, uh, how flexibility can sit in the intersection, right? between two opposing forces or two different opportunities or directions that we can go in, right? To the left or to the right, north or south, east or west, right? Flexibility sits there in the middle and helps us to determine which direction is best for ourselves. As one member here says that I make plans and God laughs. And so, 
uh, this particular person said that they learned that when they make plans and things don't go the way that they had planned, that that was God's intervention to explore other options, right? But in order to have that mindset, right, it takes flexibility. It takes patience, right? But sometimes we can be so patient that we're patient into inaction when we need to be actually taking action. In the first paragraph, it makes it plain, like there could be a dead-end relationship or the second paragraph rather, right? A difficult living situation, uh, an unhappy marriage or a dead-end job, but calling us to make a decision and take action, right? The problem is, is that sometimes we're not quite sure if the pros and cons justify us making a different decision okay so let's let's take a dead end job and a lucrative one right but maybe you've been you've been earning twenty five dollars an hour for the last six years and there's no no room for increase right you're at the top of that pay scale at Taco Bell or wherever you're working right? There's no more room for you to increase yourself there. And you're frustrated because now all of your bills and everything that you have is built upon this $25 an hour or whatever your salary is. But you are tired of living the way that you're living. You want to do some other things. And some of those other things are going to take some more money. But... At this particular position at $25 an hour, you get to write the schedule for everyone, including yourself. You have comp hours, right? And so during the week, if you need to go to a doctor's appointment, you can go to a doctor's appointment. You can do anything that you need to do because basically you're in charge there. But you're tired of that two bedroom apartment and you want a house. You want to own something. You want to have a mortgage payment. <laughs> you want to own a home. But because you built your whole life into this $25 an hour over the last five, six years, there's no room to pay more than what you're paying. And maybe what you're paying is a pretty good piece of change, right? Maybe you're paying $1,300, $1,400 for that two bedroom. It's in a nice place and it's beautiful but you want a home. At this fork in the road, there sits flexibility. Pros and cons of keeping the job that you have and all of the things that you've attained, right? To be able to analyze those and make a decision about whether or not you're gonna put out your resume for something else that's more lucrative. You're in a position today with a clean mind and conscience to be able to take the time to analyze that. What's the rush? You have flexibility on your side. You have spiritual principles on your side. You can actually take the time to think it out, weigh it out, and determine what is best for you. When life's challenges come up, I guarantee you, this is the time where our program shows up like a knight in shining armor. Our program shows up for us and affords us an opportunity to weigh things out and decide what we need to act upon and what we need patience on. And I'm hoping that you'll begin to discover the benefits of the program in every area of your life, like the 12 step says, right? We practice these spiritual principles in all of our affairs. And as you do that, you'll find yourself making better decisions, not perfect ones. Don't ever think that. Because you can make the most perfect decision for your circumstance with the information you have using spiritual principles, and it can still go haywire. Why? One, 
one reason would be you're interacting with other people that have the ability to decide how they're going to respond to what you do. You can't control that. You can never control how other people respond. Even when you have little kiddos that you're raising, you can't, you can force them to respond the way you want them to, but you can't control their innate response, right? And so you have to always make room for the fact that you're dealing with other people in society. Even with your best decision, you should always be ready to pivot and make a different decision if need be. But in order to do it, you're going to need this spiritual principle of flexibility. Well, I'm going to let you go now. I hope that you will have a beautiful day on purpose. You deserve it. And if you don't make sure that you do, nobody else is going to. This is your recovery and we're responsible for our recovery. And I intend to have a beautiful day on purpose. It's going to be a very long 12 hour day for me, but it's going to be a beautiful one. Talk to you tomorrow.